Recorded live with little or no editing, it's Roster Roast. I'm Run7. How you doing? Today we are roasting Tricky's defense. We grade on five different things. It's who you're using, placement, power levels, ISO 8s, and what kind of mood I'm in. Well, let's jump right into it. Right off the bat, we've got a partial Heroes for Hire team. Now, uh, he's using Captain Marvel and Minerva as uh, fourth and fifth in here. This is kind of fun for me. I've never done a Heroes for Hire, and so we're just kind of easing our way into it. Now, Colleen Wing, I see everybody using her on the outside, so I'm going to assume that's where we want her to be. Plus, she's the lowest health, so you always want to put your you know squishiest people to the outside. And I think a lot of people are targeting Colleen Wing first. So keeping her as far away from the taunter as possible is also a good idea. <clears throat> Now, I'm curious how this team is going to play out. Captain Marvel's... Ooh, seven. Red Star Captain Marvel. Wow. You might consider putting her as a healer. That would, that would be brutal because she heals every turn herself and she's so hard to kill. Man, two, 207 power level. That I'd try her out as a healer just to see what's happening. She's going to be throwing out rejuves to the rest of the team and stuff. Uh, if they do kill off the rest of the team, which she's going to be like the last target there, uh, she's she's just going to be a monster. Yeah, try her as a healer. A striker is the is 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 good too because she's a damage dealer. But you've got Colleen Wing putting out bleeds and bleeds and bleeds and even some more bleeds, so you might not need the damage. Um, yeah, if you can get Misty, of course, get her in there, and I would probably change. Yeah, I changed Minerva out with Misty because I'm not sure how Minerva's revive is going to work with their already... I mean, you've got Minerva in there for Misty right now because she's going to revive people without the, the charge counter mechanic that Misty has. So so that's actually pretty cool. You're thinking, you're, you're doing some things. I like this. Um, let's see. Striker on Calling Wing. I don't know if she's got a lot of... That's probably the way to go. That's going to give her bleeds more damage. I like it. I don't think that Luke Cage needs Fortifier. Uh, I Nah, I wouldn't bother giving him Fortifier. I'd make him a healer also. Get some health being thrown out all over the place on this. You could pretty much make everybody on this team other than Colleen Wing a healer. I think that'd be, that'd be pretty interesting. Just definitely don't need Fortifier on your tanks. There's hardly any tanks in the game that ever need Fortifier. I think it's just Strife and maybe Stature that could use Fortifier. Otherwise, they're always so tough. They're the last ones to go down. Um, placement uh, is is good. We we think we think placement is good here. That's 700 power level. This is a monster team. I'm going to be really excited to see what happens when you get Misty Knight in here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give you an A minus for this team. Only because I really think that you should do the healer on Captain Marvel and see how that plays out. Otherwise, just have fun building up that Calling Wing and getting Misty in here because that's going to be a great team. Good job. Okay, we got the Mercenaries with Shuri and Killmonger. And this is an acceptable uh, placement of your characters. I would like to see Killmonger uh, next to Shuri and then Taskmaster on the outside. Um... But this works because you've got some adjacent deflects going to Taskmaster and Shuri. Shuri's just not being targeted, so I kind of think that's a waste of deflects going to her. Um, I think the, the deflects should be going on to Lieutenant. And that's why I think it should be Killmonger, uh, Riot Guard, Lieutenant, and then Taskmaster. Uh, Taskmaster needs to be a skirmisher. Everybody else needs to be a striker, except for Shuri. She could be a healer. You can put healer on Ragard also. I, I like having him as a striker. Um, just getting, ramping up the damage output as much as possible on this team. It usually makes the difference. Um, you know, if you're, if you're running Taskmaster solo, then Raider's a great choice because he's got AoEs, he's chain attacking, and, and it's got some, some value. But he's assisting on every single Merc attack, and you want him to throw out that Vulnerable and get the three-hit combo. So I really don't like the ISOs that you've got set up here. Lieutenant, you can keep as a healer, too. He does enough healing that, that that's, that's warranted. Um, power levels look fantastic. This is a big team requiring a, uh, a big offensive... Offensive attacking team. I wouldn't even know how to come at this, honest. 
I think this is requires a skilletary team at this power level because your your X Force just doesn't doesn't handle it. It doesn't scale that well. So yeah, I kind of like this. Um, yeah, tweak your placement, tweak those ISOs. Everything else looks great. I'm gonna give you a B plus for that. Okay, this is a total hybrid composition of new stuff thrown together. You're looking for something to do with your Hella Loki. Uh, and defense is not the thing to do with them because somebody's going to come in here with symbiotes, just power up their turn meter off of Greg and roll over this team regardless of who's in it. Yes, you've got Guardian or, over there and he starts the taunt, but you can get lucky and and overcome overcome that. Like if, if Greg happens to spawn next to Red Guardian like two times in a row, it's pretty much over for this team. So... Uh, you're relying on RNG for the win. Otherwise, it's pretty cool. Um, you're not getting the value out of the Hella Loki combo. Um, the striker skirmisher combo that should be done with those two only really works on a five man team because uh, Loki isn't placing a taunt out there. If you had somebody like maybe uh, Korath the Pursuer who throws a taunt on the enemy person, you'd have to wait till round two for that to work. So I don't think I, that wouldn't even work on auto. Yeah. Just doesn't work out the way it is. I think you should find a replacement for Hella. Loki on this team is fine. He's putting defense down out there. He's kind of hiding the team. He's allowing Surfer to stay alive a little bit longer and let Surfer do his thing. I don't know what Punisher's doing out there. He's got a little synergy with Red Guardian. Um, it's interesting. I just think Hella is an absolute liability on this composition. So get rid of her. Put something else out there. I don't even know what. Maybe Kestrel, I guess. You could put Kestrel out there if you're not using her for other things. But I think Kestrel should be safe for offense right now, especially with the Heroes for Hire. And you know what? Surfer should be safe for offense with the Heroes for Hire. You you need him to strip those charges off of that H for H team. Um, let's see. Healer, 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 skirmisher, raider. That works. That works. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, the other day I saw you put put in level five healer, and so I'm really curious how that's going to play out because he's doing a lot of self healing. Other people run him as a striker, of course, for the damage and the controllability. Um, the, you can swap those debuffs and buffs with with his basic, so that's the thing to do with striker. But if he's on defense and you're not able to control who you're attacking with him, then I think healer's the way to go. So I kind of like that. I'm going to give you a C plus just out of curiosity how this is going to work. It's a big team, requires something big to come into it. Um, I just think most people are going to see that Hella and go symbiotes. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the only problem. But yeah, otherwise, pretty neat. Moving along. Team number four, wave one Avengers. We got healer, healer, skirmisher, striker, raider. Okay, uh, yeah, I like everything about this. I just want you to put Captain America and Black Widow, swap their placement. That's it. Otherwise, I think it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you A- minus for that. Good job. Next up is your leftover Asgardians with Coulson and Fury and Shield Security. This is weird. How does it work? Okay, um... A very a, a a 300 maybe like a 280 axeman rolls over this team uh symbiotes of course beat it with fury's spawns you're you got heimdall in here to protect from brotherhood but i'm finding that heimdall's protection from brotherhood doesn't work that well um it's not going to give the protection from these three you're still going to be able to clump them together. And even if they aren't blind. Yeah. I don't know if this is a good idea. It's it's basically your leftover junk. But I think, um, like I did in my last review, I think you should just go ahead and go with the old school shield team. Just If you're going to do this, just go the old school shield team. You know, Nick Fury's powerful enough. If you put Kestrel in here, his summons would have defense up and death proof and it might give you some resistance to the symbiotes and the axemen maybe um but mostly it would just be soaking up big teams because you need either brotherhood or somebody might try the symbiotes um and, and you just be soaking up those big offensive teams with it because you got nice power levels in here this might still soak up some big defensive teams i just think that heimdall and sif are just a total waste sif doesn't need uh fortifier 
uh, let's do Raider on Fury. Uh, Raider on Coulson works. You can do Healer on Shield Security. You could also do Raider on him. I know he doesn't do adjacent splash damage or chain attack, anything like that, but getting the Raider on them and getting them to crit more often, they have some crit mechanics built into their kit that you want to take advantage of. Striker on Heimdall, I'd, I'd go Raider with him also if you're going to run this. But really, get a, a Salter and maybe um, Medic or maybe uh, Kestrel in here and just, just run it as, as that classic team. The way things are playing out in war right now, you're just looking to soak up some stuff that people are going to be saving to go into that H for H team. We're seeing stuff like 9, 10, 11 defensive victories against the heroes for higher team because people don't know how to attack into it. And they're just throwing everything they have at it and seeing what sticks. And if you can soak up some of that stuff, they got less spaghetti to throw at the wall. Here we go. Oh, did I give this a grade? Uh, this is like a C minus at best. What just happened? What just happened? Okay, something refreshed there. Okay, this is a, a C minus for this team. And moving on, we got the Hydra 1.0. This is great. I think Hydra 1.0 is making a comeback. Come on, what is going on, guys? Quit quit screwing with stuff. Can somebody get in there and tell Tricky to stop messing with his defenses? I'm trying to roast him. All right. So uh, Hydra 1.0 is fantastic because it requires either Zemo or at uh, lower power levels, you can come in with power armor. But this 468, power armor ain't going to cut it. It's too risky. You wouldn't want to do it. You'd want to come in here with Zemo. And right now, you need Zemo for other things. So having this team in here to soak up Zemos is awesome. It's a great idea. Uh, let's take a look at your placement power levels and stuff. Okay, we got... <clears throat> uh, we got... Uh, your guard off to the side, he's a striker, that's fine. This is one of those teams where the ISOs don't matter so much. I kind of like just putting like all fortifier or all healer or something like that, just to mess with people. Um, I think Red Skull should be a fortifier actually, but healer also works. Um, striker, skirmisher on him, that's good. Um, you could also just do striker. Sniper does a lot of damage. You could do striker on him also. Uh, healer on scientist, definitely change that to healer. Uh, there's no reason to have him as a skirmisher. Most of the time, he's not even doing anything. He's just doing a a cleanse or something for somebody else. So change him to healer or at least fortifier. And then over here, trooper as a raider. I like that too. Trooper's got the AOEs and stuff, so he's he's popping up all the time. That's good. You could also do him as a striker to get a little bit more damage out of him, but that, that's pretty good. The ISOs don't matter so much. Your placement, I would... Uh, yeah, this placement works. Sniper goes under stealth. And so people are like, taunt he's taunting and going into him and they can't go anywhere because he's stealthed. But you could also put Red Skull next to him because Red Skull doesn't take any damage until these guys are dead. So, but but this is this placement works. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you an A- minus for this team because you got good power level in these guys. You only got one little mistake with this ISO. The others are all arguably okay. Um, and this team is just really making a comeback. It's good to soak up stuff. So I'm giving you an A minus, partly just because I'm in a good mood and I'm grading everybody really high. All right, Emma Rodders, let's take a look. Perfect score, did it just right. That's an A, good job. Moving on, Black Order. Ooh, I don't like Proxima next to Cull. Proxima is a hot target. You don't want her next to Cull. Get her away. I think you should put Thanos next to Cole. He's got seven red stars for crying out loud. Nobody's getting through Thanos anytime soon. That way the splash damage on Thanos makes Cole retaliate. So yeah, do that. You don't need fortifier on Cole. Either make him a striker, a raider, or at least a healer. He's got a huge health bar and would be throwing out some regenerations. But yeah, you don't want him as a fortifier. He, no one's getting through him anytime soon. Uh, the rest of the ISOs are good. Um, Thanos is one of the few people in the game who can take any ISO 8. There is an argument for any ISO 8 you want to put on him. Striker's great. You got seven red stars on that guy. He's doing a ton of damage. I bet that works really well. If you want this team to have more sustainability, you might think about putting him as a healer. But most people are going to be coming into this team with a great big black order and knocking him out in one shot. So, I like what you got going on there. Get uh, Proxima away from Cole, though. That's That's got to happen right away. Going to give you a B plus for this team. Okay, if you like what you saw, leave a comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, all that usual stuff. Thanks for joining me. Don't just have a good game, be good to each other too. Bye.